We've all been there. We study a lot, hoping for a good grade. We're receiving it, and bam, a complete disaster. Hello, my name is Pedro, and if you're trying to find the reasons why this keeps happening to you, stay tuned because I'll tell you some of the things you might be doing before your exams that are ruining your grades. Starting with a very obvious one. Don't use social media or your phone during study sessions. You're there, starting your study, and then BAM! You receive a notification and oh my god, Cristiano Ronaldo posted a new pic. You like it, and then it texts you, sup bro. And then it's all lost. You're gonna talk with him for hours and hours and not study at all. But Pedro, how can I leave my phone away? First, turn off your notification sound. And then, hide your phone somewhere far from it and where you can't see it. Let me tell you, you are not Batman. Because I'm Batman! And so, you cannot be all night fighting crime just like me, that is, doing math exercises, and hope that you do not look like a complete zombie the day of your exam. The most important thing about doing your exams is mental sharpness, that is, being able to think and to concentrate for the amount of hours needed during your exam. So, being up all night is really the opposite of what you should be doing. When we were younger, it was much easier just to memorize everything and spit it out on the test. Because things were much simpler and there was not much to study. However, now you have whole books and things are hard. So if you try the same strategy, failure is inevitable. Instead, you want to really understand what is it all about and try to connect things. Because this way you minimize the things you have to memorize by a lot and it will be much easier to uh, interpret the questions and to make a complete answer, not relying on our memory but on our knowledge. I used to be a professional procrastinator, used to do everything I did not have to and when I had an assignment I waited until the last possible moment to do it and used the excuse of the older the wiser. I was able to do everything, until I couldn't. If you want to do things well done, you need to put careful time and effort into it. With procrastination, it's the exact opposite. However, to not leave everything to the last minute is something really hard. But do not worry, there are many techniques that will help you to do that. And if you watch my video on how to deal with anxiety and procrastination, right here, only after this video, I'll give you some of those examples. And speaking of anxiety, let's go to the next topic. It's your last test of the year and the grade is so important for you that it will literally make a difference of entering or not a certain university and following your dream career. You start doing the test, you become so nervous that you can't even think and you fail. It is really hard to escape this feeling, to not be nervous in this situation. But think with me, it is something that really only you are in control of and only you can do something about it. Because if you worked hard for it, if you've studied a lot and if you've done lots of exercises, you are more than prepared for your exam. If you eat something very unhealthy like a big burger and cake for dessert or introduce your stomach to new food, you might not know how you're going to deal with it. And let me tell you, exam time is not really the best time to spend 3 hours in the bathroom. So instead, eat familiar foods, lighter foods that won't make you feeling ill and especially in that very high stress environment. Oh, and don't forget to drink the juicy, delicious, fresh water. Skipping breakfast is a sin. 
not only on exam day, but in any day. Because it's that first source of energy your brain needs, so it's the most important one. Skipping breakfast is like running a marathon without sneakers, or riding a motorcycle without fuel. And it literally takes 2 minutes to make and 2 minutes to eat, so you really won't be wasting any time, there's no excuse. And even though I recommend something healthier, you're better off eating that chocolate cereal with milk than not eat anything at all. Unless you have a question, you shouldn't really be talking to your friends about your exam. Because they have different study methods and so they can spend different amounts of time studying each topic. This can make you insecure, making you ask yourself, do I know this? Have I studied enough? Uh, which even if you do know it, it will make you more nervous. If you're studying while listening to music with lyrics, you're more likely to get distracted by it and your study session turning into a concert. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Life in plastic is fantastic. Changing your study routine is something that takes a lot of time. And if you're only like one week away of your exam and try to change it, you're actually going to spend more time adjusting to it and learning from it than to actually study. Also, you're not quite sure if it works for you and it's better not to risk it. Only do it if you think your study plan is not working out and if you have lots of time before your exam, not the day before. If you got so far, please make sure to like and subscribe because I spend a lot of time doing this and I'm also in exams. <laughs> but if you want to know how my study plan is and how to do it, watch this video. Bye guys, see you next time. Ciao! Beep boop!